To create this design, I am going to add a cube. Then go to the top view. Then go to the edit mode. Alt Z to turn on the XY mode. Select this corner. EJs like this. And then Ctrl B. Add bevel on them in this way. Add two segment bevel. And go to the bevel properties. And change the shape factor to zero. Give the bevel width. Then select this corner edges like this and add bevel on them in this way. And this time shake factor should be 0.5. You can adjust the bevel width at here and increase the bevel segment to 4. Then select this corner edges like this and control B and add bevel on them. And this time add one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width in this way. After that, scale this along the z-axis in this way and apply the scale. Now the next thing I want to do, I will add a cylinder and scale it like this. Move it along the z-axis and select these two objects and then use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the boolean modifier and you can delete the cutter object like this. Then select everything and mesh symmetrites. Take the symmetry along the x and y axis in this way. Then I'm going to select this outer edge loop and control B add bevel on it like this. Then select this edge loop with the shortest path selection and then control B add bevel on it. Then use the insert operation and G Z move it along the z axis and use the insert operation one more time. Then turn on the wireframe mode. Then you can add the loop cut at here. One loop cut here, one loop cut here. Then turn on the X-ray mode and delete the one third of the model like this. Then rotate it into the 45 degree angle in this way. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the Z axis in this way. After that, select this word and snap the 3D cursor to it. Then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder, add 8 word cylinder and then rotate it into the 90 degree and scale it down like this. Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation union like this. After that apply the boolean operation and delete the cutter object. Now select everything, press M and merge by distance. Then select this edge loop and add a bevel on it and shape factor should be 1. Then select this words and press J to connect them. Then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier. Then select this face. Then use the insert operation and extrude inside in this way. And then use the one more time the insert operation and extrude outside like this. You can select this edge loop and you can add bevel on them in this way. Then select this face and add bevel on it. And this is looking good. As you can see, we are getting right design. Then select these words and connect them in this way. Then apply the rotation and mesh symmetrites in this way. So we are getting this kind of edge loop at here. I'm going to select this edge loop and I will add bevel on it like this. And here also I'm going to select this edge loop and I will add bevel on it in this way. Just increase the bevel like this. Then dissolve this edge loop. And then you can select this edge loop and you can add a bevel on them in this way. Select this edge loop and add a little bit more bevel in this way. Then select this edge loop and add bevel like this. Now you can see it is looking good. You can select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Z axis like this. Then I'm going to rotate it into 90 degree, apply the rotation and then take the symmetry. Take the symmetry along the X axis and symmetry along the Y axis like this. One more time, delete the one half of the model like this. Here I want a loop structure which is going to travel like this. How I can do this? To create that loop structure, select this word and connect create a cut like this CX. Before that, I'm going to select this edge loops 
like this and I'm going to add a bevel on them in this way and give the proper bevel width. Once you got a bevel, select this words and press M, merge at center. Select this words, press M, merge at center. And then dissolve this edges. And here you can select all these words and merge like this. Same thing at here also. You will get this kind of loop structure for this. Okay, which is going to hold these corners. You can see the sharp corners we are getting at here. And here the loop structure is like this. After that, I can add one loop cut at here. But I don't want that loop cut to travel like this. So I can just add a few loop cuts and I can merge these words at the center. And I can remove this edge loop. She is going to travel like this. So I am going to get loop structure like this. Okay, then I can select these words and press M and merge at last. Then I am going to rotate it and I am going to apply the rotation. You can select everything, mesh, submit rights, and then dissolve this edge loop. You can select this edge and double tap G for the edge slide. I need to select this word and I need to connect it in this way. I am going to get this kind of loop structure. I can add two loop cuts like this and I can select these faces and I can press I for the insert operation then B to avoid the border and I'm going to use one more time the insert operation and I'm going to move it along the Z axis G Z in this way then I'm going to use one more time the insert operation like this just dissolve this edge loop right now and add new edge loop like this then you can select this edge loop and you can add a bevel here. You can add one more loop cut like this. And then same thing, merge words at here. And you can dissolve this edge loop. Then select this edge loop and use the set flow on it to get the proper curve like this. And then select everything, mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry. And there you go. Here you can see we are getting this kind of design which is looking really well. So you can see the topology, you can see the design. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye, see so you next video, take care.